Hi, this is Pooja Manzrekar. I'm a consultant in charge at Bordify Physio and Pilates. My center is located in Mazgao. So today I'm going to highlight on a topic called pelvic floor physiotherapy. It's the most untouched topic. So first of all, most of the women don't report their pelvic floor symptoms a because they are quite embarrassed about it. And second, they don't know whether something like this can be treated. But I want to say that this is the most common problem amongst women and it's treatable. But you need to address these symptoms. So let me just go through about what exactly is pelvic floor. So your pelvic floor muscles are your muscles which surround your pelvic floor area. So considering a female anatomy, a female has three orifices. One would be the vaginal orifice. One is the anal opening and the third is the urethral opening through which she passes her urine. So basically these th three openings are continuously shut because of the pelvic floor muscles covering these three openings. So if the pelvic floor muscles become weak with time, which can be because of pregnancy, because of childbirth, because of labor, in some cases it can be because of being overweight, having diabetes, having asthma and multiple issues. So with time, what happens is the pelvic floor muscles become weak. So their ability to contract these three openings becomes less. So that's where a female comes with symptoms like incontinence. Most of the females don't know what incontinence is. So incontinence can be urinary and fecal as well, where you actually have a fecal matter coming out and urinary incontinence where you have leakage of urine. So what happens is when you cough, when you sneeze, when you laugh, you actually have a dribbling of urine which is not in your control. Some females also have something called as urgency symptoms where there is such difficult and involuntary desire to void which they just can't control and sometimes it's followed by leakage of urine. So all these symptoms are quite embarrassing when you go out socially but all these symptoms are treatable. In some females after removal of uterus which is most common after menopause the pelvic floor muscles naturally become weak so in such cases there is something called as uterine prolapse when I mean by prolapse is where actually a part of your uterus comes down into your vagina so some people actually feel that something is protruding down their vagina but they don't exactly understand what it is unless they have symptoms like where they can say that my urine keeps dribbling or when I just sneeze out aloud there is some few drops of urine coming out. So all these symptoms are something which you cannot ignore and like most of the women would just go randomly on YouTube or would just find out the solution for it and you would come across with something like kegels which we all know what it is it's basically contraction of your pelvic floor muscles but let me tell you that kegels is not something which you can just do it on your own or you can just do it whenever you want or however you want kegels if done wrong can worsen your problem so you need to do it under consent of a person who is trained with pelvic floor physiotherapy so you're at Bodify, when somebody comes to me with a pelvic floor symptom, the first of all, what I do is a screening, which is internal screening, where you internally examine the person, you check the strength of their pelvic floor muscles, you actually find out where the problem is coming, whether it's just the weakness of the muscles or whether it's actually the prolapse, where you can refer them to a gynecologist. So after that, you actually start training their pelvic floor muscles, which is the actual kegels, where they know that they have to contract their pelvic floor muscles and not their tummy muscles. Because you would just do a tummy tuck and you would feel that you're contracting your pelvic floor muscles. So the right way to do kegels is being trained internally. And after that, for maintenance, we teach the patients how to do the exercises on their own. But for that, they need to get the hang of it and how, how much to do, when to do, is all advised by the pelvic floor physiotherapist. So the most important thing which I would like to convey from this is A, don't ignore your symptoms, don't be embarrassed about it. It's really common to have these symptoms, but the best part is everything can be treated. And secondly, just don't go on your own and start doing kegels whenever you want because you might be harming your pelvic floor more by doing kegels and just you might land up with more tight pelvic muscles which can give you more issues so if you have any queries or if you have any pelvic floor symptoms you can reach me to Bodify I would be more than happy to help you with your pelvic floor symptoms and I think 
this can be definitely treated. Thank you.